Ew! Ew! Well, at least the creeper didn't get that. Ew! Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And this is Monkey Wrenching the Beast, number 66. And I am Monkey Puzzle. And this is Neither Rio. Lack of balls. <laughs> and we just got a new record. It's uh, far. We got it out of that spooky spider webby tree that uh, had that cave spider spawner under it. That All this time we knew it was there, but we never actually went and looked at that chest. Uh, so that was the find of that cool surprise. Cool surprise. Cool surprise. <laughs> anyway, uh, we want to go work on that village today and work on um, making the uh, shops for... The villagers that we want to get stuff from as part of that process a couple yeah. things to show you real quick we got the train still running very well over here eh. can't uh. run that fast <laughs> neil real took his power suit off for till so he could look cool and now he can't keep up uh there you go which I, that actually looks very cool too so uh you want to take a train ride to the village okay all right so let me take you yes. we've got a willing passenger hop on in okay bye bye neither rio bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> sending him off and i can talk to you about a little bit about the uh, plant power power plant real quick oh here comes the train bye neither rio bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Actually, let me make sure he's going to the village. Yes, he is. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> so bye. he's going to take a little four minute ride, which will give me just enough time to uh, uh, do the rest of this. Um, so, real quick, I got uh, all the stuff going because I was making more uh, biofuel over there. So, over here, I've got the solid fuel firebox going, and it took forever, but I finally managed to get it all the way up to 1000 degrees C. Um, but even at a thousand degrees C, it's still using charcoal this fast, uh, which is, you know, we've got a thousand and twenty-four stacks of charcoal in at least two barrels. Um, but you can see how fast that would go through a stack. Uh, so, not sure how I feel about these solid field ones. The liquid field ones seem to be a lot more efficient. Um, I don't know. I guess they're going through them as fast too. Uh, it's a little slower. Um, but we just seem to have a lot more liquid fuel too. It's a lot, it takes a lot longer for it to go down. And our byproduct, the, uh, creosote has become, uh, one of our major fuel sources, actually. The, uh, it's not only running this, uh, steam boiler for the industrial turbine, but it, now I've also switched over this other liquid fuel, uh, steam boiler from the biofuel to the uh to the creosote as well and i wonder and we're still full <laughs> which you know uh the problem with this getting full is if the coke ovens downstairs fill up then they um all these guys then they can't run either and make charcoal so we might have all of these <laughs> running with creosote anyway i had all this running because i was making more biofuel to fill this ta tank up we had gotten down to about 80 percent with all that usage and this whole bank of, um, of fermenters was uh, was working, so I had to turn all the power on. Anyway, uh, one other update before we start working on the village. Over here at the bee base, the uh, tree breeding that I set up last episode has been well underway. And now most of the trees are actually all, every single leaf is pollinated. <laughs> so uh, we're going to need to strip all these and check out the results. Um, but that would probably take half an episode in itself. Uh, so we're not going to do that either. And I actually don't have a book, linking book, to go directly uh, from here to the village, which I'm going to have to change. But uh, in the meantime, let's go over there. So we're heading out to the village. And here in the uh, village square, uh, between the two villages uh over there and over there um uh, we're building the place that's going to be the marketplace for the thomcraft 
guys and the apiarists and the uh, miscraft villagers and probably have some stalls uh, for the um, all the other guys too uh, the who the the um, blacksmiths and the farmers and uh, all those guys so Nilo Rio and I have started kind of blocking out how we're gonna put that together um, so this could be a shop and this could be a shop and this could be a shop for the three main dudes because uh, you know we need the Thomcraft guys for the knowledge fragments we need the apiarists for the proven frames and we need the um, miscraft guys to get more pages. I'm not sure which of those they're going to be, but these will be the three places for that. And then, oh, look, here comes Nilo. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Where are you? I'm in cart, first oh, cart. Really? Stop. You're invisible. Uh oh. Stop. You better jump off, but don't die. <laughs> you might want to stop the train before you jump off. I put it on shutdown. Okay. You can send it off again. Okay. Yeah. Well, you were invisible when you were in the cart. No, don't go that way. No. Hit it with the wrench of yours. Stop. Don't go what way? It's backwards? Hit? Yeah. What happened? Where's my wrench? Stop. I don't have it. <laughs> All right, folks, let me go find my wrench and uh, my crowbar and uh, get things straight here. And then we'll go back to what we were doing before. Uh, it's on shutdown. It should stop. Uh, All right, we have a little chaos. We'll be back. All right, when you got a backup crowbar, go ahead and flip that around. And we can go ahead and send it off. Yay! Uh, <laughs> bye, train. <laughs> Be careful. You can die from that thing, even it's in that fancy armor. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Still not even sure about that. It killed me at two speed once. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do some work on this. Um, and today, also, hopefully with this episode, uh, I'm going to put this world up for download so that you all can check it out. Uh, and this isn't going to be finished, of course, but it's never going to be finished. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start. And one other note is there's at least one subscriber that every episode is like, make quantum helmets and Vajras. Um, I don't want a quantum helmet because it uh, I won't be able to breathe underwater or negate uh, the bad effects like the poison from the uh, tropical bees with it. It just doesn't work for that. It only works for charging and uh, I'm so easy. It's so easy to get to uh, charging. Did I not say ultimate solar helmet? You said quantum helmet. Oh, okay. Well, the ultimate quantum solar helmet. <laughs> ultimate solar quantum helmet. Uh, anyway, I may make it at some point, um, but uh, that's not what we want to do today. And Vajra is the same thing. Uh, they're cool, but I'm pretty happy with my nano saber and my advanced diamond drill. Um, but uh, we'll make Vajras. Uh, well, it's I just, want Vajra. Yeah. It's just we looked at it and it was complicated enough that we wanted just to proceed to this today. So maybe next episode we'll make Vajras. Uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll just have them made and show you. And then I'll put them in the chest. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so we got our work cut out for us here. Nilo Rio says he wants to work on the uh, Thomcraft shop. Is that right? Yeah, yes. Which is going to be right here. Uh, oh, wait. It's right above the glass viewer, though. Oh, you can change that. There was just a little uh, little water cave under here, and I didn't really want to block it off. You can decide what you want to do, but I thought it was neat to look at it. Um, Yawn. And then uh, I'll work on one or both of these. One's going to be the apiarist, and one's going to be the miscraft. And then uh, each of these are going to be able to help us and probably lead to another episode because the... Uh, over here, the uh, knowledge fragments we'll get from these guys are going to allow us to open up more Thomcraft stuff, like uh, Gollum stuff. Um, and then, uh, which uh, I want to do the little attack visor Gollum so we can maybe make an experience farm with Gollums. Um, and then the uh, apiarist shop, if this is going to be it, will lead to proven frames, which will help a lot with the uh, products from the beekeeping. And not be able to having to make the uh, the uh, what you call it frames the um, the impregnated frames so often, yes. and then uh, the miscraft. Wait, are impregnated frames better? 
No, they wear out. They're better than the regular untreated frames, but the they still wear out really fast. It's ridiculously fast. And then the um, you don't get hardly as many products when they wear out. But the proven frames, I haven't worn them out yet. Um, and then the Miscraft ones, we're going to get uh, more Miscraft pages to supplement the ones we already have from the previous version of Miscraft. And then that could be a whole episode, too, where we start making Miscraft worlds again. Um, so uh, we're going to work on those. Uh, we're going to have to get ourselves together and get more materials ready. Also, I want to connect up uh, this village over here down to the marketplace with a path. So and maybe have it hook up with the bridge as well. So we we'll make a path going up that way. And then in further episodes, oh wait, before I go on to that, the, uh, this place is going to be like a little public market inside for all the normal guys, all the normal villagers besides the ones I just described. And then later in uh, episodes um, beyond this, we can make houses up here so that we can increase our general villager population um yeah and so we'll do that uh at some point soon but anyway uh for now we're gonna get moving on this and we'll get back to you when we're ready to actually start some building on this okay see you soon So just taking a, uh, a little time over at my Thomcraft base to, uh, oh look, <laughs> my lava is gone because uh, this was connected to the uh, lava in the nether. Uh, I'll have to fix that in a minute. That was an important decoration in this base. Um, but I got to make uh, some of the stuff for the uh, Thomcraft shop because we want to use the Thomcraft blocks for that. So just got myself a stack of Thomium because I uh, need to make some... Uh, warded blocks and a uh, bunch of stuff that I actually haven't made yet. Uh, let me see, where's the warded stuff? Uh, right here. Because uh, what else would a Thomcraft store be made of but uh, uh, warded stone and warded glass and stuff. So uh, not too bad. I gotta go get my zombie brains, make some of these. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll be making some of this. I'll show you each one as I do it real quick. All right, so here's uh, sh what should be, I think, a stack of arcane stone blocks. Ba -doom. Get those back. All right, so all set up to make the warded stone. Um, so if this is going to be for the Thomcraft wizards, uh, I've just learned that that's what the villagers are called. Uh, those guys are purple and gold, so I've got uh, 25 zombie brains right now. So we're going to use half of the 12 for a warded stone, 12 for warded glass, and one left over for a warded door. And then for the warded stone, which you can dye, we'll make uh, three quarters of them purple. Uh, make a little space here. But doing. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think a stack will be fine for now and we can save some of these resources for later and uh, then let's make uh, let me make a little space in my inventory first okay and then I'm going to make some gold ones uh, which or you know dandelion yellow and that actually looks pretty green <laughs> and, uh, well I guess that's the best we can do for now I guess we might have to actually use some actual gold for that color uh, we'll check it out and then uh, let me switch to making the uh, warded glass. And there is the warded glass. Azo. Uh, I'm going to make almost two stacks of it because that's something that's just cool and can be used all over the place. So there's that. And then uh, let me see over here. Uh, all ready to make a arcane door. So let's go ahead and grab that. Already got all the... Uh, the elements, what, uh, I forget what they're called now, <laughs> the aspects that uh, we need for that. One arcane door. Um, over here, I'm going to make uh, some more of these arcane wood blocks because they look cool. And then uh, over here, uh, I'll set up to make some gold arcane keys. Uh, but I'm going to have to wait a second because I don't have a place to put them. <laughs> okay. Make a couple of those, 
And now I'll be able to give uh, Nilo Rio a gold key so he can grant access to anybody too. Not like we really want to keep the uh, shop off limits. Maybe that will be for the back room of the shop. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to the village and we'll uh, get to building. <laughs> I got to get some lava back on these liquid ducts quick. Yeah, so back here at the village, I'm going to give Nilo a little chest right here. And you can have some fun. Uh, there's some of that, some of that, some of that. Uh, one of... We'll wait on the Have door. Have the door? <laughs> no, because you're going to lock me out. Uh, I won't. And I Can think I have the door, please? Uh, some of these. Please, there door? There we go. Door? No, door comes last. Tell me Why? when you're ready. Cause I won't lock you out. I'm going to give you a key. I want to have the key. It will be no different. There you go. See? <laughs> All right. Didn't even. You can have the door. Yay. But you gotta get off the. I can't. Wait, I can't open the chest. There you go. There's the door. Thank you. All right. So there you go. And wait, uh, can I have another door? In the can meantime, I make... I'm gonna get stuff together to do one or two of these, and I'll see you when I got that together. Okay, so I went and got some stuff. I'm going to work on the apiarist one now. Um, I'm going to put it here because the uh, miscraft colors are pretty similar to the thomcraft colors. You can see that Nilo Rio has been doing quite a bit here. Uh, I'm going to grief his work. Here I go. Hey. <laughs> Dang, I can't grief it. <laughs> um, I could steal those gold blocks, but they're mine too, so that's no point in that. Uh, anyway, doing a very nice job, very lovely. Um, yeah, so the Thomcraft Miscuff colors are pretty much the same, so uh, I'm going to put the apiarist thing in between them, and uh, I'll figure out as I go how I'm going to do it, but I've got, for materials, I've got some cherry wood planks, uh, I've got some apiaries, I've got some candles, I brought some yellow and orange autumn leaves, uh, yeah, the chest, um, and also I could do some stuff with the, with the slag, maybe dye it, uh, what does it look like when it's, it's yellow, uh, yeah, let's try some, ooh, I didn't mean to make that, that many, <laughs> uh, and let's see, let's take some yellow ones, and let's try some orange ones, we'll do it that this time and what other colors would they need I guess if we're doing bees maybe we actually want some black let's do some of those I'll play with those colors and see what I get um, yeah so I'll just get started and when I feel like I'm onto something I'll let you guys know uh, probably definitely make the uh, cherry wood the foundational stuff of this because that's what is in the apiaris house in the villages uh, I might use it as blocks like that I might thin it up with the um, uh, with the uh, the diamond handsaw uh, see oh you I can't well there goes that <laughs> it's funny I can make buttons with it but I can't chop it up okay well that's limiting uh, I'll see what I can do Okay, I was just about to remove this tree uh, that's in the middle of everything here. Well, I could let it just grow through the roof, but I thought I should mention that uh, this big chunk that's missing, Nilo Rio was hit by lightning <laughs> when he was standing here. Uh, something to do with his power suit, we think, but we don't really know. What were you doing when this happened? I was scrolling through all the abilities of my, um, whatchamacallit, of my power suit hand. And lightning came? Yeah. I wonder if attracting lightning is one of the abilities. No, I don't have it. But it hit him and it started that tree on fire. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, so far, all I've got is a box. So, uh, more to do. So neither Rio's got a little spot for the uh, Thomcraft guy right here. So, uh, some Nitor. Good touch. I better get back to work. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if that's doing too much. 
<laughs> and uh, I found out you can't make micro blocks with cherry wood or with uh, rock wool. Dang it. Say that again. Look at this. I'm looking. That looks awesome. Fun with micro blocks. I like wow. it with the little pool beneath too that you kept that. That's looking beautiful. Oh uh, yeah, you got the infusion altar. Very nice. This is where I've gotten to so far. Uh, nice. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, we got the bee carpet instead. <laughs> bee carpet? Oh nice. Yeah. And then uh, we got to have some back doors here that uh, go up to um, a little back courtyard uh, where the bees go. It's going to be like the villagers have, but just a little bit nicer. Dad. Something like that. Come look at this. Okay. Um, so do you think a villager can get out? No, because of the micro blocks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I already tried like it. I want to make it even less noticeable. You're just gonna have to take one out when you put him in there. Yeah, but I'm gonna make it even less noticeable. Okay. So we'll bring you back for another progress report. Uh, I made it cover strips instead of panel strips. Very nice. I like how you have it going all the way around too. It's a nice touch. I think I have to destroy this nightor. All right. I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, I gotta get some doors in here, uh, and a lot of doors are always in order for villagers. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't like that. Uh, let's take two of those down. You have two doors on the sides, maybe. And then we can have a uh, little plate glass window along the front. Something like that. Uh, I don't know. I might have to play with that. Um, but we want... Even the shops to be uh, kind of attractive to villagers as houses. Um, and then, you know, when we put the um, shopkeepers behind the counters, they'll all be coming in here and milling around and looking like they're doing business with the shopkeepers. Uh, I could put these other two right there, perhaps, to be the back. But uh, no, I better move that all back some. Yeah, because uh, that doesn't look good. All right. I won't bore you with this part. I'll keep figuring it out. Um, but this is going to be uh, some little plate glass windows here, too. And those always give you a little bit more space inside, too, rather than putting a full glass block right there. And, uh, Nilo, you got any progress you want to show the folks? Uh, one sec. I'm just making some doors, but you can look in. Okay. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, looking pretty good. He found that the little cover strips actually didn't uh, keep you out. You could climb through there, so he had to go back to the, what are these called? Uh, panel strips. Panel strips, yeah. Because uh, Minecraft characters are not a full two blocks high. At least we're not, and the villagers are probably the same. Unless they're a little taller, but probably not. Another little update. Nilo Rio is now putting in an overhang around this building. A little bit more detail. Uh, I've got to here so far. I got to go build his counter space, um, but uh, let's put that away. That's his little backyard now with the apiaries. Uh, so almost ready to install the actual shop features inside, and then just made a little color decision over here uh, for the uh, miscraft dude. He can be um, actual purple rock wool and and yellow uh, rock wool. Because uh, he's a little bit more dull than the Thaumcraft Wizards anyway. So they can, Thaumcraft Wizards can be... Thaumaturge. The Thaumaturges can be uh, gold. They call them wizards apparently in the wiki. But yeah, the, the official village Thaumaturges, they can be the, the rich uh, purple warded stone and, the, and then the gold. And then these guys will be that. So anyway, we'll keep going. Get in there. All right, so Nilo is just figuring out how to make anti-covers and hollow covers by uh, you craft these uh, micro blocks together, uh, which I haven't done yet. But uh, how do you make the hollow covers, for instance? Uh, you make a furnace shape out of covers. Very cool. So I'm gonna try to make a kind of stuff. little space now for my uh, 
My little merchant. You can do that kind of stuff with them. Let me see. What kind of stuff? This on the bottom. Oh, awesome. They look like that. So you can make cool windows. See? Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so this guy's backspace maybe goes like that. And then we can give him some uh, pressure plates for a counter. <laughs> Perhaps. It's not a whole lot of space, though. It seems a little small, but there's got to be room out here, too. Uh, not quite sure. Uh, or maybe, actually, hmm. Okay, I'm going to think about it. All right, I think we're going to need a bunch of these. Uh, yeah, let's make... Okay, we have uh, some leather left over. And I think I, I'm going to do it this way. There's a little feng shui, feng shui issue like that, but uh, I think I can live with it uh, just f as far as getting all this in here. And then, so yeah, we've got a little counter that can hold, I don't know, three, four APRs maybe. And then uh, back here with these item frames, uh, let's go ahead and stick some, let me in. Up on the wall so we can show the wares like so maybe they go like that and put some like that and uh, so we can show off uh, here's some nice models of apiaries and uh, oh yeah you want to get yourself a nice scoop <laughs> it looks like that and then uh, you know oh yeah here's a tropical drone you can get and oh here's a uh, shimmery uh, steadfast drone very special item oh man it doesn't shimmer in the frame and they do this little blinky thing too oh well um, and uh, what else apiary is chest that actually should go back here somewhere so that uh, they could be grabbing their stuff out of it you know so they're selling things from it um, and that's almost about it Oh yeah, we got some candles, so of course this place uh, should be lit up with candles. Oh, there we go, fits there, and uh, not um, you know other kind of lights because it's an apiary shop. If I can figure out where some could go, <laughs> that makes sense. That's the problem with uh, these. Oh, what the heck happened? Why are you popping off? Huh. Was that an update from this or that? What the heck? Put that back. Huh. It doesn't want to go there. Maybe because this is actually a one and a half. Uh, all right. Well, I'll figure that out. And uh, yeah, what else could they sell? They could sell candles. <laughs> and uh, make sure I didn't lose anything back here. And I just got to figure out where the rest of these candles go. I mean, they can go there. That's a little awkward though, but uh, I guess it just might have to be. And get another candle in here somewhere. Um, oh, they could probably go like that. There we go. So this is probably well lit enough now to not get zombies. Um, yeah, so, you know, we can always add more detail uh, later. Um, but I think that's a functioning apiary shop. Uh, so let me get Nilo Rio back here. And uh, maybe we can finish the miscraft shop real quick and put some villagers in it and call this an episode. All right. So neither Rio and I are tag teaming. Wait, we need one more here. On finishing the uh, miscraft thing. And uh, we're playing, uh, we're cheating on the bookshelves. <laughs> we're playing with the anti cover uh, uh, wood um, planks with. Uh, Bookshelf cover panels. <laughs> Filling in that way. Anyway, yeah, we got a little counter thing going back here. A little gate for them to get in through the middle and serve people. And then uh, they can have pages on either side that they're selling. Uh, we got to fit some um, book stands in here too with some linking books probably. Something like that. Anyway, uh, we'll keep working on it. And uh, we'll be probably pretty close to done by the next time we check in with you. 
It's coming along, coming along. Looking pretty good. I got to get some real link books to uh, put on these. They actually could take us all over the map. And then uh, this yellow stripe down the middle is supposed to look like the cloak of a miscraft villager or whatever they're called. Um, and then we just thought of the perfect thing for the floor. Of course, it's got to be crystal. So we'll work on that. All right, that looks pretty sharp. <laughs> uh, you know, these are all pretty gaudy, but uh, you got to get your shops noticed. Anyway, we're going to finish it up. And there's a new block that we haven't used yet called a book binder. It's pretty simple. I think it goes like that. It's got kind of a nice texture, too. We didn't make writing desks um, or uh, what's the other one? Uh, let me try to go ahead and see how the book binders look right there. Writing link modifier? And there. Well, there's link modifiers, um, but those, uh, I'm trying to move you over. There you go. Uh, but those are too expensive, and we can't really make them anymore e anyway. That looks all right, I think. It kind of bugs me in the middle here. Maybe we need a third book binder. <laughs> okay, so to finish this one off for now, because we will be adding plenty more detail left, we're putting the real... Uh, linking books in to get all over the place. I don't like how their words really go into each other. I'll have to shorten that one. Ah, stop it. Sorry, that was an accident. <laughs> no blowing things up. I was trying to open a door. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a rough way to do it. <laughs> okay, so let's go get some villagers. Uh, let me get my portal gun out. We'll put some villagers in there and we'll call it an episode. So we're gonna go on the hunt and uh, we'll be back with you when we find some. Ho ho, here's an apiarist. Come on, guy. You, don't you want your own business? I could have set up a portal, but uh, this is just as fun. <laughs> They're a little bouncy. Can I go extra fast with him? Woohoo! All right, so we have our first apiarist shopkeeper. Uh, okay. Nope. Come on, can I open the door with you? No, I can't. Open the door. All right, I'll do the portal. Actually, I don't have a place to put a portal. <laughs> That's part of the problem. I guess I could put it on the ceiling. Let me see. Let me make sure that everything's open. Yep. Okay, where'd he go? Uh, he likes the miscraft shop. Cool. But that's not your business. None of your business. That's not your business. This is your beeswax. Right that's here. That's not your business. Ha ha ha. Get it? Bees. Be business. Be, be, ha, be, be, ness, be, I business. got it. Ha, 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 ha. There he is. He looks just right behind there. Uh, I'd like some proven frames, please. No, What's he <laughs> trade? Uh, I can give him wheat for frozen combs. Bogus. Anyway, we'll work on that. That's part of another episode. We're just getting them in here for now. Okay, so we haven't found a Thomcraft guy yet, but we have a Miscraft dude spotted. Where is he? I think he just went in here. Where'd he go? We got a lot of babies being born, too. Hey, here he is. See him? Mm hmm? <laughs> you look so sorry. Cyber sci-fi. <laughs> there we go. Let's go see if he got in there. With all those babies being born, we got to get one Thomcraft dude. Uh, let me see. He would have been back here. Oh, you got an extra dude back there too. <laughs> it's a uh, scientist. Or no. What what are the white guys? Uh bookshelf dude. Librarians. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> for now. Maybe they'll breed. We'll leave them in there. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, a librarian in, in the miscraft place makes sense. For now. Yeah. They are giving each other the love stare. 
<laughs> All right, so I think we're just about done. We got to keep looking for a Thomcraft, dude. Uh, we'll spend a couple minutes looking for Thomcraft. Otherwise, we'll sign out. Trauma? Yeah, and we have a Thomcraft, dude. Yes. So, da -da, da. are you going to make da -da, a portal for him? Da -da, I did. Okay. Yep. Is he in? Let's check it out. Yes, he is. He looks just perfect back there. All right. Oh, and he's selling knowledge, knowledge fragments. Perfect. Excellent. So we've got the start of a thriving marketplace here. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for watching us. We had a lot of fun building this. Uh, I really like this part, just playing house and making buildings. So next time we're going to make a marketplace uh, for a lot of the other regular guys. They'll have a bunch of little stalls in here. We'll fancy this up. Uh, and yeah, and just keep on doing stuff here on Monkey Wrenching the Beast. Um, yeah. Oh, and, and two more notes is uh, one is that one of these has to be dedicated to Empathetic Frog, who made uh, my new channel icon for the channel. So, uh, channel icon for the channel. Uh, wow, it's so great. They're in there. He's looking at his stuff he has to sell. So, yeah, one of these can get dedicated to you, Empathetic Frog. you got to tell us which one you want. Do you want the uh, Empathetic Frog uh, Bee Shop or the Empathetic Frog uh, Miscraft Shop or the Empathetic Frog Thomcraft Shop? <laughs> Any one of those. Or you could wait uh, for something else or request one. And then, uh, oh, look, we got a baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, and oh yeah, we're going to do a world download associated with this one too. So I'm going to do a save and put it up on Mediafire. Um, I can't hear myself talking, Nilo. Yes. And put it up on uh, Mediafire for you guys to download. So um, I got to figure out how that goes. I guess when you c log in with your... Uh, with your username, you won't get our stuff. So uh, we'll put our stuff in some chests so that you can have access to it. I assume that you're going to start in the spawn uh, over. Let me go over to it. Um, yeah. Over here in the savanna base. Oh my gosh, epilepsy. Ah. Uh, so spawn, in case you don't know is uh, over here, Summers. Uh, we spawned in about here, somewhere in this little uh, little nook between the redwoods and the glacier. So if you spawn here, just come around and you'll see the mushrooms and stuff. And you can come on over to the savanna base. Not far at all. I'm going to see if you can make it. Hopefully you don't come in at night. <laughs> so, uh, actually, I should just save it in the morning. And then you'll be fine. Um, yeah, so come on over. And we'll put some chests uh, in the savanna base for you, I believe. We'll just put it right inside here somewhere uh, with our stuff. We uh, will? Yeah. So they can have all that gear to play with, too. Well, Put them on, uh, I don't Be know. Be careful so with Kamehame. <laughs> Please. That's your suit, right? Kamehameha is my, is my glove. Oh, okay. Kamehameha is from Dragon Ball Z. Uh-huh. They go like Kamehameha and they shoot out like a bolt of like, I mean like a, a ball of energy. So that's why I call it that because I can shoot out like a ball of energy. Okay. All right. Actually, what we decided to do is put our stuff just right in the middle of the floor right here. It's kind of cluttered, but you can get the stuff out of it and move it. We just want to make sure you couldn't miss it. So, yeah, here's my stuff, which there's a whole bunch of stuff in all of these. So you're just going to have to look in there and get it all. And then, Nilo's stuff. So have fun, y'all. I hope you guys enjoy playing on the map, and we'll keep it up every so many episodes. And thanks a lot. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, and we're not even close to done. In fact, we never will be, most likely. Bye-bye. Where are you? Say bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>
See you next time. Okay. What the heck? Why'd you guys end up down here? You're so dumb. Ha, 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 ha.